Chamber of Independent Power Generators Ghana has described the Emissions Levy Act 2023 as a political risk which will increase the cost of power. According to Chief Executive Office of the Chamber, Dr. Eli Prima Kwabla Apertogbo, the emissions levy would trigger an increase in electricity tariffs. Now, he joins us live for a discussion on this. Thanks so much, sir, for joining me on the marketplace. I'd want you to, first off, explain to us um, why you think the Emissions Levy Act 2023 will increase the cost of power in your statement. Thank you very much, Vyos. Good afternoon. Good afternoon uh, to you. Yeah. Basically, it's important to appreciate the underlying ob objective for passing this particular law. I described it as a political risk. Political risk comes in many forms with their unique implications for businesses. And in our case, as power generators, we call this a change in law that has implication on our cost builder. And what that means is we have a fixed tariff for our PPA term, that is for the number of years that our contract takes. There can only be a change in our tariff when there is a change in law that results in cost implications. And that is exactly what the Emissions Levy Act represents. Mm -hmm. So in the implementation of our agreement, we have an understanding or clause that suggests that any time there is any issue, like a new regulation, new directives, that adds to our cause. This cause should be passed through to the distributor, then to the end user. That means the statutory incidents will not rest with us, the generators it to be passed on to the end user. So that's what it means, basically. Mm. Uh, and you said in your statement that implementation of the Emissions Levy Act 2023 necessitates an equal measure of review of the electricity generation tariff to ensure the predictability of the cash flow obligations of the power producers. W why do you think so? What, what that means, based on the explanation I provided, assuming it is 10% increment on our cost. The equal measure or the equal transfer will be 10% to the distributor. And the distributor as well will transfer that equal measure to the consumer. But don't you think it's too much for the consumer to bear the brunt of all of these? Yes, that is why it is always advisable that anytime there's going to be these policies or directives, let's have a broader consultation let us digest the consequences of these decisions so that at the end we do not transfer unnecessary pressure to the consumer. Mm -hmm. We desire to make our power sector very competitive as possible for the promotion of businesses. So we are equally concerned about it. An engagement may have brought about some suggestions or a better way of doing it. Um, so in essence, if um, the levy, you know, is implemented, um, how soon should the consumer be ready to, you know, bear the brunt? Oh, once it is implemented, I think we are also ready. If we have served our liability to pay, we pay, it must be transferred as soon as we are remitted funds for it. So is it immediate effect? And wouldn't you consider any um, proposal to government to reconsider or petitioning, so to speak, to government to reconsider this? Wouldn't you do that? I think this is a responsibility of the off-taker, the one who will bear the, the incidents at the end of the day to take them. Fortunately, it's a state-owned enterprise, so they have to take this responsibility to speak to government about it. All right. Thank you very much, Ali Prima Petogbo, for your... Okay.